Hey everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and today is a Dia Day. That's exciting. Uh, feels like a very heavy box even though it's a little box. They think they have a lot crammed in here. So let's see what is in it. Rip through it. Alright, so I have my <clears throat> paperwork. It says thanks for letting you style us. And of course the return bag. And let's see. These are stylus notes. But we will leave those for later because you don't want to hear all about that. And the list of items and price sheets. So let's start by saying that the total of my items in this box are $254. And if I were to buy all of them at 25% off discount for buying all of them, my discount would be $63.50. So I could get everything in this box for $190.50. Give it a shot. So let's see what's in it. I haven't a clue. I've not looked online, have not nothing. Nothing, nothing. So let's see. Oh, I see denim, and I see something pretty. So, let's see. Okay, this is what I thought was pretty. I thought I saw flowers. Yellow and black. Uh, definitely a poly. Okay. Well, that's, for poly, that's a little sheer, actually. You can kind of see through it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> which, actually, I guess in some ways is nice. means it's thinner. Um... It's got this waistband that's kind of cute and it looks like a nice length like something that would definitely cover the knees and it is by London Times so it feels really nice even though it's poly it's really super soft well let me just check the fabric content just to make sure I'm not telling stories okay it is 95 poly 5% spandex and that's why it feels so soft that combination is usually pretty soft. So let me scoot out a little bit so you can see it better. It's got some sway at the bottom. You know, when I first saw this fabric, I was like, hmm, it's, you know, feminine and cute in that it's, oh, look at the front. I didn't even see the front. Well, I'm anxious to try this on now. Um, I wasn't sure that I was going to like yellow and black, <laughs> but I think that might be kind of cute. So next is something by Juna Rose. As you can see this tag, that tag there. Okay, oh, it's a t-shirt. Oh, okay, and it's black with these white flowers. It has a short sleeve. The short sleeve has a little bit of a cuff. And the neck has a nice cuff. Now this seems well made to me, well constructed, although the fabric is a little bit light, but I guess that's kind of what you like in a t-shirt, right? Oh, I think I forgot to read the price on the dress. <laughs> Sorry. The dress is, who's that? London Times. It's called the Bailey dress, and it is navy and yellow. Oh, it's navy. I swear that's black. But maybe not. In 2X for $53. Very nice price. And then now this is the Juna Rose Zoe Knit Printed Top in black and red 2X $42. Yeah, I like that. If that fits, that might be a keeper. Okay, next is by Raffaella. It's a sweater top, so it's nice. It's got a little zipper thingy, as you can see. And stitching all around that. It's a nice knit, like a woven, not like a t-shirt, nicer, or like almost like a sweater. Not, not heavy though. Like the color, in fact, it's similar to what I'm wearing right now, isn't it? This is more coral. This has more pink to it, I think. So let's see what it has to say about that. Raffaella. Hmm. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Raffaella Carlisle Zip Front Cotton Top in Coral 2X, $45. Yeah, I think that's cute. I mean, it's not, like, I would say trendy or anything. It might have a little bit of a mature look with this. But, heck. I am mature in years. Not in brain, but in years. And what is this? Oh, Bermuda shorts. 
Okay, I like Bermuda shorts. I happen to have a pair that's almost this color, but I do like this brand Raffaella. In fact, I have a pair of Raffaella Capris that I might turn into shorts, so I'll have to consider that before considering purchasing these. But I do like that they have no distress. The ones I have have some distressing, and part of that is the pocket that rolls over. I don't like that. It just looks, um, what's the word for it? It just looks uncapped, I guess. But anyway, Raffaella. And there's the cuff bottom, just a plain pocket. Yeah, I like those. Let's see how much these are. Someone's honking their horn. Raffaella uh, Bradford Cuffed Bermuda Short Light Wash, size 20, $49. You know, I think that's about what it paid for other uh, denim shorts was just under 50. Okay, so these are a brighter blue. And they are a capri. And they're a pretty lightweight fabric. Um, they're cuffed and they have a little thing there. These are called Parksville Cargo Capri Pan and Navy $20, $65. They don't really seem worth $65 at first glance because I have a bunch of Tommy Hilfiger ones that are Macy's from years ago. They weren't that expensive, but the last couple times I've got these, received these sort of things in style boxes, they were a little spendier, so maybe they've gone up. Maybe mine are older than I think. <laughs> but these are pretty cute. I like them. Nice pocket, and look at the stitching on the pocket. And my guess is they'll fit pretty well, because Raffaella usually does. Um, it has a little bit of stretch, so hopefully the legs won't be too tight. And what did it say about them? Parkside Cargo for $65, yeah. Okay, well, I actually like all the items in this box, so let's see how they fit. And if I'm willing to part with $190.50 to purchase them all. See you soon. Okay, first item is the dress. Um, it's cute enough. It's pretty lightweight, uh, but it is, I think, too snug around the midsection. Um, and it does show a lot here. I not, have no shaper on. Shaper would improve it a bit. I don't know how it looks in the back. It probably is a little too clingy showing stuff. But I'm not sure if this is supposed to fit way up high or if this is supposed to fit down like down to your waist or whatever. I do like the way it's made in the bust line area here with the folds in it. That's nice. It is comfortable enough except for this midsection. But this is it. I don't think it's for me because of the fit, but it's, uh, it's kind of cute. Okay, the first outfit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the capris and this top. Um, I feel pretty comfortable. I feel like um, pockets that, yeah, that's annoying with the dog barking. What I was saying was, <clears throat> he's in here with me now, the barker, um, that these are pretty com this is a pretty comfortable outfit, uh, something I can totally, this is exactly the kind of thing I wear with these pants and some kind of t-shirt, although this one's a little fancier. Uh, I think the pants are a little big, <laughs> as you can see, um, which then makes them do this, a little too much of droop in the crotch, uh, but the legs are a nice fit, and uh, I didn't see the back, but <clears throat> yeah, I think they're too big. Uh, the top, I almost think like I've had this top in like a blue. I didn't like the color of the blue. I do like this color. I'm not sure about this little thing right here. I don't know. I don't really like kind of jewelry type things attached, but it's not. It's kind of a step up t-shirt. So it's nice. We'll, we'll see the, co I'll, I'll check the cost of it again and what's going on with the rest of the items in the box. So anyway, yeah, it's uh, these are really nice. They're just too big. I can, I can actually pull them off. <laughs> I'm not going to do it on camera, but I can actually pull them off without undoing them. So outfit number one. I 
Okay, second and final outfit. <laughs> it's the t-shirt and the um, denim Bermuda shorts. They came rolled to this length, which I think hits me kind of at a weird spot. So I rolled them one more. I think I like that better. They're a pretty good fit. Um, I have them up. My belly button is like right here, just below here. And I have very little crotch droop, maybe just a little bit, not much. I don't know how they fit in the back, but uh, I do like them. They have real pockets. They're not deep pockets, but they have real pockets in the front and the back. Uh, the pockets seem to be in the right place. I do have a pair of this kind of color, washed out Bermudas, but these are like true Bermudas where they can be worn below the knees. Next is the t-shirt, which when I first saw it, I wasn't as excited about it, but I do like that it's real well made with this nice band here and band here. Super comfortable, and I guess I didn't, it's a nice v-neck, I think it's a flattering v-neck, and uh, I do, I like it. Who knew? <laughs> I think it would be useful, I have black shorts, I have black capris. And then, of course, you can wear it with denim, like it's pictured here. So, this is my second outfit. Well, thank you for coming back <laughs> to join me for what goes on the hanger and what goes in the bag. Now, this is a tiny little bag, so not much is going to fit in there. So, let's see what happens. First up is the t-shirt. And I have to say, it's my favorite item in the box. Um, yeah, I like, you know, it's not a huge print. I like that about it. I like that it's uh, black. I have a lot of navy blue and, and pink coral, so it's nice to, I do have a black and white stripe one, but it's nice to have this black floral one. So I really like this one, and I think I will get a lot of wear out of it, and it appears to be pretty well made around here. The fabric is a little light, but uh, I live in Florida, so I'm not usually going to complain about a t-shirt being too light unless you can really see through it. I can see a little bit through it with the with the artificial light I have behind me, but uh, without that before, I did not. And this is the Juna Rose t-shirt. So anyway, first item on the hanger. Okay, next up are the Bermuda shorts. And even though I have a pair in this color, uh, they have this distressed pockets that hang way down, so they, they look pretty sloppy. So I think this pair, and the fact that this is a little bit longer, can uh, be just a little bit of a, of a step up. Uh, and they fit, but if I put them through the wash and dry them and they shrink up a little, they'll still be okay too. So, yep, these items are also on the hanger. I'm doing pretty good so far, huh? Two for two. Next item is the sweatery type tee. It reads a little mature for me, to me, but yeah, I do like it. I like the color. I like the way it feels. There's a lot of things that I do like about it, so I am going to put it on the hanger. Um, the price of it, I wasn't as crazy about, but I think this is the type of thing you can put with capris and look a little more dressed up than I normally look with capris and such, so I have put it on the hanger. What do you think about the color? I really like the color more of this color in my wardrobe. That's okay. Can't have too much. Next item, the Raphael Capris. I do like these Capris a lot. They're a bit longer than a lot of Capris, and I like that about them as well, but they just don't fit me. And let me check and make sure that these were a size 20. Yep, I mean, because there is the possibility of something on here being a different size than it says, so I just wanted to check. Although that doesn't usually happen to me, but you know, I mean, Humans run the store, right? Anything can happen. But yeah, it says 20W on this tag. I wonder if there's a tag inside. 20W. So these run large, I think. So if you're interested in them, you might consider whether they, they um, would be a size, should go a size down or what. Because for me, they were too big. And for pants to be too big for me is kind of unusual. So. Anyway, first item in the little tiny bag, which is good because there's not room for much more. Last item is the dress. The dress is cute in the, I like the bust line detail here, 
with the, um, I don't even know what you call it, the fold of the fabric. And uh, while I'm not a big yellow, black, white combination, it's, it is striking. In theory, I like the dress. I think the, and they did double line, or lined it, so you have double fabric in the bodice. But in the bottom, you don't. And it's pretty lightweight, so. But more important, it doesn't fit in a way that is flattering. And I would say it even doesn't fit in a way that makes it very comfortable for me. So it's the second item in the bag. So there's really only two items in this bag, thank goodness, because it is a perfect fit for two items. So apparently my stylist knew that. What is her name? I should share it in case you're interested in Marissa. So those are my, that is my Dia box this month. Three items kept, two in the bag. Wow. That's, uh, that's better than I've been doing on style boxes lately. But I do uh, think I'm going to have to get into some, think about fall clothes. Not, it'll still be warm here for a while, but um, just wanted to invite you, if you haven't checked out my eyeglass selection video, I'm asking for your help in picking out my next pair of glasses. It's also on Facebook and sent to a bunch of friends and family. So. Um, Tell me what you think. I've got eight pairs that I try on. The photos aren't great because it was very bright in there. So I uh, try to look at the glasses on my head as opposed to how I look or the, the shadows or, you know, the, the sun. So anyway, I'd really appreciate that if you gave me your um, opinion on that. So, um, and if anyone who watched my last, oh yeah, this is from my last uh, video, my last clothing video. It's the Stitch Fix. It's the uh, City Sheet Top. I wore it to work today and to dinner tonight, and I got tons of compliments, even, you know, at the restaurant and at work. So, and it was comfortable. So, hey, I'm happy. And uh, especially since I ha happen to have a $20 credit with uh, Stitch Fix for, it's a customer service credit for a little snafu that they took care of. And gave me a $20 credit for my triple. You know, I appreciate it. They didn't have to do any of that, really. It wasn't that to me? It wasn't that big a deal. But anyway, so that lowered the price of this by $20. So, oh, I hope you have a good evening. It's very dark and getting late. I hope this video turns out. I won't know until I play it back, because this is done strictly on artificial light. So, please like and subscribe.